Hey, look at this. I can now control and access my garage door in the Ring app. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today I'll be installing the MyQ Chamberlain Smart Garage Control. If you've been following my channel, three years ago I installed the Next Garage, which I'm still and will continue to use. And also it was a pain to install that I have to do some soldering. I will link that review video below. Anyways, it is a pretty solid system. But today, I'll be checking out the MyQ, which this is not something new. And I actually bought it during Amazon Prime Day because it was on the lightning deal for only 18 bucks. So I just have to buy it. My main reasoning why I chose the MyQ is because it is somewhat compatible with the Ring app. And we will talk more about this later on. If you find this video and other videos helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell notification so as to get notified when I upload product reviews like this video, product updates, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you. So we will do a quick unboxing, set it up on its own app, do the installation, and test it. And lastly, we will add it to the Ring app and see how it integrates. And we will see if this pretty affordable smart garage control will be a good smart device to control your garage door. Let's check out its features. So this smart garage controller will work with most garage openers that are old school and not Wi-Fi enabled. And it doesn't have to be the Chamberlain brand. You can monitor and control your garage door from anywhere there is internet and receive real-time notifications from the app. Simple setup using Bluetooth and you can set your garage door to close in a schedule or preset times. And you can check compatibility on their site by selecting your garage opener brand. I have the Craftsman and it doesn't have Wi-Fi, then it should be compatible. By adding another sensor, this system can control up to two garage doors and 16 devices from the MyQ app. Time to open up the box. Amazon Prime members can sign up for in-garage delivery. Unfortunately, this service is not yet available in my town. So we have the controller hub itself and we have the warning LED light, some status lights, and control buttons. On the back, we have an area where the mounting plate will attach to. So with the mounting plate, just align it on the back notches and turn clockwise. On the side, we have the power port. We have the quick start guide. We have the power adapter. Then we have the door sensor that will be attached to your garage door. We have the status light and the sync button in the front. We have a tab on the side to open up the sensor to access the button cell battery. We have some mounting screws and velcro strips and a warning sticker. Time to set this up and you do need to download and sign up for the MyQ app. You will not be able to set this up just using the Ring app. Click on the plus sign on the main app page. Choose the smart garage control on the list. Make sure you check off this list. Compatible garage door, check. Wi-Fi, check. Password, check. Ladder, drill, and Bluetooth, check. Plug in the hub. Wait until the status light flashes blue and click next. Choose the Wi-Fi network you are going to connect to. Type in your password. Wait until it is successfully connected to Wi-Fi and click next. Pull the battery tab on the door sensor. Push the sync button on the sensor and you will see a light flash on the hub. Wait until both are synced and paired. Now choose the brand of your garage door opener, which I have the Craftsman brand. So let's install this first in my garage. Make sure you have good Wi-Fi signal in your garage. This can only connect to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. You can install the hub in the ceiling, sidewall, or the opposing wall to the garage door as long as it is close to a power outlet and at least 6 feet above ground and 4 feet away from metal objects. I'll be installing mine on the wall opposite the garage door just because it is close to the power outlet. As to the door sensor using the velcro strips with the top facing up, install it on the top panel of your garage door. It is recommended to test the battery every 6 months. The sensor's battery is a 3 volt CR2450 button cell. Now time to locate the program button on my garage door opener, so you will need a ladder to do this. In one of the sides of the opener, I have a yellow program button, which I'll pick from the app. Press and release the yellow button to start syncing it with the MyQ hub. And it is paired. That easy. So let's test this out. Yup, it works. And when you close it, you will get this warning sound and flashing lights. Which my next garage doesn't do. You will get notifications from the app when your garage door is opened or closed. One cool thing about the MyQ is that it works and can integrate with third-party apps. 
and in my setup, we will integrate it with my Ring app. Click Launch and it will open up the Ring app and choose I have an account. Click I agree and it will link the mic queue to the Ring and you will see in the dashboard the status of your garage door. And when you click on it, it will actually load up the MyQ app and that is the most that the Ring app will integrate. It will just give it a shortcut to the MyQ app which I was hoping to be more than that. Anyways, the MyQ app loads up pretty quick though and it is nice that you're able to see the status of your garage door in the dashboard of your Ring app. As to other integration, it does say it works with Google Assistant but I tried linking it but I'm not able to make it to work. And this MyQ opener is not compatible with Amazon Alexa and as to HomeKit, you will need another accessory, the MyQ HomeBridge for this to work. But for what it is and for what I need it to do and for the price, I'll just use the MyQ app itself and the Ring app to control and to know the status of my garage door. One of the routines that I do before bedtime is for me to arm in home mode my Ring Alarm. And what I like about the Ring app is that aside from the alarm modes on top of the app, your Ring cameras will also load up the current snapshot of your cameras. It is not live streaming, just a snapshot. And I like that Ring add this time elapsed timer. But at least you have an idea of the current view of your cameras before you arm the system. And you also have the dashboard where you can glance on the status of your garage door, your smart lighting, and also your Ring compatible smart locks. So in this one page, you will know if your garage door is open, your cars are parked, and your kids are inside and you're ready to arm your alarm for the night. Anyways, that's it for this video. Any questions, comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.